are you an MMA casual? Well, stick around, guys. I'm going to be giving you 20 questions to test if you are an MMA casual, if you know about the UFC and MMA to not be called a casual. But again, I just want to mention, who cares if anybody thinks you're a casual? It's all for fun, guys. Um, if you're a fan of the sport, that's great. If you're a fanatic, that's cooler, whatever. But if you want to put your knowledge of mixed martial arts and the UFC to a test, be sure to stick around. Be sure to subscribe. This is probably the easiest test I could have come up with while trying to get all the information that a casual wouldn't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a series of this of these, and this is probably the easiest one. So be sure to subscribe if you want to check that out. The goal is to answer at least 15 correct. If you get 15 of these questions correct, you're definitely not a casual. Anything under 15, I'm deeming you a casual. Again, don't get offended. It's just all in good fun. So let's get right to it, guys. Who has the most fights in UFC history? Not the most wins, not the most losses, but the most fights. The answer to that is Jim Miller with 44 UFC fights. Guy's been fighting for a long time. All right. Who has the most title fight wins? Think about it. It's John Jones with 15 wins. Who has the longest win streak? This is not an active win streak. I'll give you that. It's the spider, Anderson Silva. Number four, in what year was UFC one held? And I think this is where I'm going to start weeding some people out because those first three were pretty easy. So the start of the UFC. The answer is 1993. Hmm. Number five, and there's three different questions in this question. You need to tell me the weight for the Bantamweight division, the welterweight division, and the light heavyweight division. What's the weight, the max weight you could be at that division? So Bantamweight is 135, welterweight is 170, and light heavyweight is 205 pounds. Let's see how you guys did on that one. That one's pretty straightforward, too. If you've been watching for some time now, you should know all the weight classes. All right. Name two UFC referees, and they don't need to be active referees. If you've been watching for a long time, there's a few guys who aren't around anymore, but name two of them. I'm going to name just a few. Chances are, if you name some, these, these guys are in there. Herb Dean, Dan Mergliata, Keith Peterson, Jason Herzog. Mark Goddard, and of course, Mark Smith. So any two of those would grant you that answer right. Number seven, who is the notorious, well, not notorious, just the famous, well-known ring announcer for the UFC? He coins the phrase, it's time. It's Bruce Buffer. Come on now. Number eight, who is the president of the UFC? This is an easy one as well. I mean, I think most people know this. Bald guy. Ladies and gentlemen, oil him up. Dana White. Number nine. What does UFC stand for? It's an acronym for those. If you didn't know that, then you're obviously not going to know what it, <laughs> what it is. But it's the ultimate fighting championship for those who didn't know. Number 10. Who was the first ever double champ? Another pretty easy one. Very famous. Chances are this guy probably got you into the sport if you're watching this. Conor McGregor. So we're halfway through. I hope at this point you're 10 for 10. If you're not, I mean, again, we're trying to get over 15 right. So let me know how you did below. And again, be sure to subscribe. All right. Who has the most finishes in UFC history? Think about it. Might be between a couple of guys but finishes any finish charles Oliveira. he has 20 ufc finishes he's been around for quite some time who has the fastest ufc knockout very famous as well 2019 jorge masvidal within five seconds he put ben Askren out with that famous flying knee question 13 
Name the three ways to win a mixed martial arts fight. There are three different ways you could win. And don't go into specifics. It's straightforward. Number one, a submission. Number two, a knockout or TKO. And then, of course, number three, winning by decision. Those are the main three. And then, of course, you obviously could win by split decision, majority decision, things like that. All right. Can you name all UFC double champs? There are four in history. You have Conor McGregor. You have Amanda Nunes. You have Daniel Cormier, so DC, and of course, Henry Cejudo. So those are your four. If you were able to name all four, you got the question right. If you weren't, it's wrong. All right. Question number 15, and we're nearing the end here. Rounding third. Can you name three MMA promotions? And this is all time. You could be thinking back in the day. You could be thinking current. I have, you know, the famous ones here. Don't count the UFC because I assume you know that because we've been talking about it for the last three minutes. All right. Let's test your knowledge. I have written down here off the top of my head, Bellator, PFL, Strike Force, WEC, One Championship, and of course, Pride. Those are those major ones that I could think of. There's a few more out there, of course, and there's small ones, there's regional ones. But if you were able to name three mixed martial arts promotions, you get the question right. All right. Who was the first ever female champion? Chances are you know this too. It's Ronda Rousey. Now she's in the WWE. All right. Who won UFC 1? For those of you who don't know, UFC 1 was a tournament. His idea was there was a bracket, and they wanted to see which mixed martial arts was the best. That's ultimately the whole idea of the UFC, but the, the first one was a tournament, and the winner of that was Royce Gracie. Well-known name. All right, number 18. Name something you can't do in an MMA fight. This is so vague, so easy. Think about something you're not allowed to do in the ring, in the octagon. Look at me, the ring. So a few things um, that are really popular, a groin kick, grabbing the fence, kicking a grounded opponent, eye gouges, and a 12-6 elbow. Those are the ones I thought of. There's actually a lot of things you can't do. You can't put your fingers inside someone's glove, little things like that. You can't grab someone by the neck, can't throw somebody off um, out of the octagon. There's a lot of things you can't do, but those are the basic ones that I figured you know a casual would think of. All right. Where is the UFC Apex located? And this is question 19. Las Vegas, Nevada. All right. Last question. Name at least five martial arts. And I'm going to let you just run through them really fast. This is the last question. Name five martial arts. By now, I'm assuming you named quite a few. For those of you kind of thinking in your head, maybe you're on the spot. All right. I have karate, judo, BJJ, wrestling, Muay Thai, boxing, kickboxing, and Taekwondo. Those are those ones I could think of right now. I remember the UFC one poster. I have it around here actually somewhere. It even says Kung Fu on the bottom. It's in the, the original one. But, you know, I'm just thinking of the ones very well known in the UFC, things you, you see all the time in the UFC. So trivia over 20 questions. How did you do? Let me know below. Anything under 15? I'm sorry. According to me, an absolute nobody. I think you're a casual. If you knew more than that, you're definitely a UFC fan. Um, if you like this series, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think below. I have a lot more content coming out and I'm going to be doing a lot more trivia. This was fairly easy. I think that most UFC fans or just average watchers should be able to get at least 15 of these questions right. Let me know below if you did. And of course, subscribe. Always a pleasure. I'm the MMA Casual.